Already. All right. Oh, yo, what up, guys? This is uh, Mark from Team Table 500 here, and uh, who are we with? I am Christian Manser, and today I am playing the most degenerate deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Hell yeah! Let's go. Best deck right here. Best let's deck. let's start with so, the deck. We'll get right into it. First, we're going to start off with the negation package. <laughs> Triple Scarecrow. Triple Wabaku. No damage. And if you'd like to come this way, Triple Threatening War. All right. So. These nine are essential for all chain burn. Um, Swiss Scarecrow is, in my opinion, a better battle fader, just because uh, battle fader is stopped by anything that negates effects. It's stopped by uh, Solemn Strike, and uh, Swiss Scarecrow kind of acts like a pseudo hand trap. It's not an actual hand trap, but uh, it's the best thing that you have for this deck. For sure, for sure. Uh, which is nice. So, play nine, you can't attack and you will pass your turn cards. Next, we play the Burn Package. Three Ring of Destruction, uh, pretty straightforward card. Uh, unfortunately, because of the nerf, it's not as good as it used to be, but Sad. it is what it is. It still does exactly what it needs to do, um, but really the most important thing that it does is it gets rid of targets that are going to disrupt your Chain Burn strategy, All right. um, which is kind of nice. Um, and especially if they're using things that try to negate a lot of traps, uh, that you're going to be trying to activate. This forces them to negate this if they don't want to lose that monster. Um, otherwise, they lose monster, they take a whole bunch of damage, and then you still continue your, you know, your game plan. Yeah. Um, next cards. Three Just Asserts. Probably the best burned card in Chain Burn besides Chain Strike itself. Uh, 500 for every monster that they have. Um, it's really not much to say, especially because it's link format. A lot of uh, monsters though. <laughs> exactly. So the fact that uh, most <laughs> decks will summon, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fact that most decks will summon an extra monster just because of how links work, uh, this card became better. Oh, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Especially with everyone making these big boards, uh -huh. just desserts just gets way better. Exactly. Speaking of big boards, I like big boards. I like big hands, and I love secret barrel. Oh yeah, I, I freaking lost to this <laughs> when I was playing my insectors. <laughs> It was a sad uh, time. So Secret Barrel, 200 damage for every card in their hand, every card on their board. Um, there's really not much more to say. It hits everything. Absolutely. And it's a, it's a definitely a good uh, damage combo center. I guess. Um, the last card we run is Secret Blast, which in my opinion is kind of a, secret, uh, a weaker Secret Barrel, but it does 300 damage for every card that's on their side. Uh, All right. Every card they control. So it's nice because it's an extra 100 for every card. Um, which, in a lot of cases, actually does push them over the limit of death. Yes, yes, um, But in my opinion, unfortunately, it really is a weaker secret barrel. Just because it doesn't hit uh, the number of cards in their hand as well. Also, if they pop it, they take extra damage. Yes, that's right. Um, if for some reason they ever get into, you ever get into a situation where they destroy this, uh, they take a thousand damage, which is sometimes relevant. Uh, for the most part, it usually isn't, because you're just able to chain it anyway, but sometimes it's okay. And then, of course, the reason Sad. this is the deck. The sad, lonely so, chain strike. There's only one, but it's still named after this oh, because yeah. this is the thing that makes this deck. Konami, um, put back to three, please. Oh my god. Konami, <laughs> <laughs> put it back to three. If you know good please do. Please don't do it. Um, <laughs> we need so, to put these combo decks in check. <laughs> no, dude, I've lived through those days. <laughs> so, if you don't know what chain strike does, do yourself a favor, look it up, and you will understand exactly why people hate this deck. Uh, or go on Dueling Book or Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and, and uh, ask <laughs> to play against Chain Bird. And um, you'll learn why people, this card's really good. A lot exactly. of people will feel obligated to play you. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get a lot of practice in. It'll be fun. So For them. Fortunately, especially when you're uh, going into game two, a lot of people will try to kind of pull back their strategies uh, if they're more of a, a monster-heavy deck. Uh, which is where you start playing these guys. This is yeah. Ojama Trio. So... <laughs> This Both card, back, <laughs> this card's a little risky to play because if you activate it at the wrong time, uh, your opponent can use them for link summoning. But um, realistically, you want to activate it at the end of your or at the end of their turn. Um, but what it does is it gives them three extra quote unquote cards, um, three extra monsters if you're using just desserts, uh, three extra cards if you're uh, counting for secret barrel and right. for a uh, secret boss. Yeah, and. Um, if for some reason they are destroyed, your opponent will take 300 for each. That's not nearly as relevant as it used to be. Um, 
but it's still something. It's still damage. Exactly. And uh, they still That's cannot be tributed. <laughs> uh, cannot yeah. be tributed for a tribute summon, so if for some reason you're playing Monarch, sadly they cannot use this. <laughs> Next, we're going into the draw package. Um, I play 3 Pot of Duality. You can play uh, Pot of Desires, but it's a little risky. Uh, and in my opinion, it's not worth it for this iteration of the deck. Mm. Next set, we are getting a field spell that makes this deck incredibly, incredibly potent. Yeah, that field spell is so dumb. Yes, it's called a <laughs> Spellcarst Cave, um, and it stops your opponent from playing the game, stops them from activating monster effects, stops them from attacking you. At what? that point, Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> card that stops you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm. <laughs> so at that point, you'll want to play Pot of Desires instead of this. But um, for now, we play Duality, and it uh, excavates uh, top three cards, and you can pick whatever you want from that, and then you um, add it to your hat. For sure. So really good for searching for extra burn pieces, etc. Three Reckless Greed. Of course. Draw two, skip your next two draw phases like you really care. <laughs> um, pretty straightforward. Three Legacy, Yadagrasu, three Jar Greed to do the exact same thing. They all draw up one card each. Then my favorite card, Accumulated Fortune, which is essentially Pot of Greed in Trap Form. Uh, but you have to be on Chain Link 4, which is the whole point of your deck. Got there. <laughs> and finally, one of the best cards that was printed for this deck. All right, what is it? Balance of Judgment. This oh, card, <laughs> this card's dumb. <laughs> this card's actually insane. Um, so, if your opponent controls more uh, combined cards than you do, um, it counts your hand in on your board, but it only counts their board. But if they do control more cards than you do, you draw equal to the difference. So dumb. I've gotten to situations where I've drawn eight to nine cards just flat off because of this one. Oof. It's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Or, so it's good. absolutely ridiculous. Good job, um, Kanai. Good job, Kanai. Thank you for making that a comment. Yeah, this, yeah, and it's a comment, by the way. Um, a lot of people will run two. Uh, I opted to run an extra uh, Yadagrasu. But if you want to run two of this, this is perfectly fine. It's, it's just it's a great card. Yeah, it completely yeah. refreshes your hand. And most people love to overextend against you once they know that you're playing Chain Burn. And it's like, all right, cool. Play your board. I'll be drawing all of it. <laughs> yeah, well, once they get through all the back row, it's just like, yeah. mm. Oh, cool, look. I drew into a Swiss Scarecrow. Now you can't attack for your turn and you look like an idiot. So. <laughs> I just drew into everything. So that is the main board. Where's the extra deck? We don't have an extra deck because we don't need one. All right, so we're going to go into the sideboard. Or side deck. All right. So this is uh, Lava Golem, the best kaiju. Uh, he's a very special kaiju because he's the only kaiju who will burn your opponent. Hell yeah. Um, he's also, I want to say, the only kaiju that uh, you sacrifice two monsters instead of one. And he is a very, very, very old school card. Still great. Still does exactly what you would use kaijus for realistically. I remember um, you said right now in my super <laughs> <laughs> Remove threats. Awesome. Make your opponent suffer. <laughs> uh, stall them out, etc., etc. So, so it's like you this. <coughs> um, next card, Heavy Storm Duster. Um, unfortunately, this does not get rid of Royal Decree, but it does get rid of everything else that's a problem. Um, it's it's pretty good against things that use a lot of spells and traps. Um, you can also run Twin Tester if you want, uh, if you want. But uh, I don't like discarding cards because a lot of times you do need to set and keep as many resources as possible, yeah. uh, just to continue your chance. So. Also, this is just really good because uh, you can go into chains with it. I mean, technically you can with Twist Tester too, but uh, I'd rather not minus myself, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I play three of those. Next card I actually want to talk about a little bit is uh, Fairy Wind. This card more is... Burn. More burn! It's more burn, destruction. it's more destruction, it blows up all the field spells that you needed to get rid of, it blows up a, a lot of the random continuous spells Dang that are played, Bye -bye. right? Um, <laughs> it blows up all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it absolutely destroys pendulums, which is funny. Because um, a lot of people don't see it coming. Um, and it also destroys Ooh. your stuff while it's in the chain, but doesn't negate it. So the cool thing about this card is you can go... Uh, chain Link 5 after you activate the other four cards. Oh, and it just destroys all everything. Of them, and they will still take damage for every single one of them. Oh my god, that's cool. nasty. Yeah, I love love this card. I oh. used to main it. Um, I don't main it anymore just because I wanted the extra draw power, but it's definitely an option. Definitely an option. That's nasty. Um, next card, Bad Luck Blast. 
it's kind of a worse ring of destruction because it does the whole half. Well, this one does half uh, the attack power of the target, and um, go take it. Unfortunately, it does not destroy that monster, but it's extra burn. And then just like uh, Secret Blast, if they destroy it while it's set, uh, you, your opponent takes a thousand. All right, so, so. it's an okay. Not bad. Just extra. Speaking of burn, now. Let's talk about Curse of Darkness. Oh, have, oh. You, have you ever wanted to spend 700 plus on oh. Sky Strikers to lose to a 25 cent card? Oh. I hope so, because this you card hurts. This, this card <laughs> is absolutely destructive. Oh. Um, every time your opponent resolves a spell, immediately they take 1,000 damage. This beats so many damage. Oh. <laughs> oh, the like Curse of Darkness. Oh. Mm, it's so, so, so good. Um, I mean, there's really not too much more to say about it besides the fact that it brings the hurt, it brings the pain. It really is a curse. Um, oh, no, that's a blessing for you, man. <laughs> but a blessing for me, exactly. <laughs> mm, that's a cute... Uh, oh, flip it up. Uh, uh, great. Uh, oh, you want to go Hornet? Sure. Would you like, sure. To, would you like to scoop now, sir? <laughs> exactly. Mm. That's well, timing around, hey, guys. All the negations that she was going to play. <laughs> Then the last card I play, uh, Triple Blazing Mirror Force. Uh, if they're playing monster heavy decks, okay. whatever it may be, <laughs> just flip. You take half of all of the attack power that I just destroyed. You know, it acts like a mirror force. And then uh, I just destroy all of your stuff. And, um, I mean, you just scoop. But well, would you tell you me that else. 9 times out of 10, this is probably like, when you cite it in, it's probably game. Because you know, you'll exactly. get Exactly. If, if I did it first, you just it. Even if you set, like, nothing else. You set one, you wait for them to play the board, you attack, and then you make a scoop. And that's it. So, that is the last of my uh, sideboard. Alright. So, Do you have any shoutouts to give? Uh, I would like to shout out Team Illweed. I've been part of that team since 2007. Hey. Um, unfortunately, we are a very small team at this point because a lot of our players ended up leaving, but... Uh, they still hold a special place in my heart, so thank you guys for everything. And uh, besides that, um, that's it. So. All right, guys, this is Mark from Team Table 500. This is Mike from Team Table 500. <laughs> <laughs> and we're signing out.